Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial and uh, today I'm teaching you uh, how to do depth of field uh, with After Effects. Um, it's a little bit like Luma Matt. Um, I do it like this, I duplicate the normal clip, but this time you do Luma Inverted Matt. So like right there. Uh, for the depth of field clip, um, I just put tint and levels. Here, let's put this. Levels. You can make the you can make it like darker or whiter. Uh, if it's whiter, that's where like um, whatever effect. Like if you can put tint on the bottom clip, um, that's how far the tint effect will go like since white's over there that's where the tint will be but the darker areas will not be affected by that um by tint so i'm gonna do this um the bottom i do i usually do tint and uh i'm gonna do 29 you know uh gonna do this 171 13 and 13 so. so see that the background is red a little bit like that because of the white area and uh, you could add more like this and there you go that's step the field uh, the background is red and a bit dark. Uh, yeah, that's how you do depth of field. Uh, you can add more like uh, you put all the effects that you want in the background on the bottom clip since that's the background and the middle clip is the foreground. Um, you can add camera lens blur. You could add fog. Here, ca uh, camera lens blur like makes the background blurrier and stuff uh, you, can, you can add any effect like here gonna do this glitchify okay so it's enough right here I'm gonna put the levels a bit higher so that you'll see like what the effect does so you can see it's glitching in the background, but it's not glitching like in in the um, where I am. It's only glitching in the background because of the because the white is far in the back, and where I am, it's all black. So yeah, you can add more effects. Um, that that's how to do that. The field hopefully it helped.